The One UI 6 out one animations are just amazing, and I have a great news about the new Telegator sensor on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, and I even have the Galaxy S24 Ultra unboxing pictures and hands-on video. According to Ice Universe, the new 5x sensor of the Galaxy S24 Ultra is generally stronger than the 3 years old 10x sensor. For example, in the evening, when the light is weak, the photos taken by the S24 Ultra's 10x are very smooth and clean, while the S23 Ultra's 10x is full of noise. It is worth mentioning that with the new 5x telephoto sensor, S24 Ultra can take better zoomed in shots than the S23 Ultra. Although when we pass by 10x, the quality will be equal, as according to the source, the 100x zoom on S24 Ultra will be similar to S23 Ultra while using AI on S24 Ultra. By adding the new 5x telephoto sensor, it is now confirmed we are going to see a 4K 60fps on S24 Ultra while switching between different lenses and it will be smoother just like the iPhone 15 Pro Max. The animations of One UI 6 one are just amazing and I have a video for it, even the hands-on video of a Galaxy S24 Ultra. But before moving on to that, a subscribe to the channel will be amazing. This is the One UI 6 one animation test on S23 Ultra and it works extremely well, even Ice Universe is satisfied. According to him, the S24 Ultra is still a well-balanced flagship phone, but what is different from the past is that the system fluency and the animations have taken a big step forward, which means the One UI 6 one works even better on the S24 Ultra compared to S23 Ultra. He also mentioned the key points for the animations of S24 Ultra, according to him, First, the animation frame rate has been improved again compared to One UI 6.0, which means the animations will look smoother and more delicate. Second, remove the background blur effect. I think Samsung considers that it will increase power consumption. Third, the background scaling animation is greatly improved. It becomes non-linear and the wallpaper scales greatly, which is larger than the iOS scaling, making the animations look very vivid. The next one, when the icon is scaled back to its original position, there is a more obvious elastic animation. And last one, continuously open and close the app without any glitches, it is very stable and smooth. The change from One UI 6.0 to 6.1 is very great and I believe you'll soon realize what I said. We even have the hands-on video and unboxing of Galaxy S24 Ultra. This is probably the titanium grey color option of S24 Ultra. Due to lightning, it looks like a golden color option or indeed it is. The second image shows the side of Galaxy S24 Ultra confirming the flat display on Galaxy S24 Ultra and yes, the sides looks quite thick compared to the S23 Ultra because there is no curve. We even have the first hands-on look of Galaxy S24 Ultra display. This is the first ever hands-on video of Galaxy S24 Ultra. There are a couple of things you might have noticed. First, it is true that Galaxy S24 Ultra will going to feature a flat display. But if you look closer, the sides on S24 Ultra are slightly curved. This is already confirmed from source and now it is confirmed from hands-on. And finally, as according to this hands-on with a normal case on your phone, you can use a simple flat screen protector for S24 Ultra. The curve on the sides will be 0.3mm, but honestly, it looks really good. The thing which people really don't like about the S24 Ultra from renders was the thicker outer bezels. Seems like this also confirmed from the outer bezel, because of having a slight curve on the edges, S24 Ultra outer bezels don't look that big. In fact, it looks much better than the renders of S24 Ultra. The display is not confirmed from the hands-on, but according to this real-life image, the display is even confirmed. The bezels are symmetrical and the bezel size is really small, around 1.5mm. And this year, Samsung is going to add the same display on all three models of S24 lineup, M13, which will going to boost the peak brightness on S24 Ultra. 2600 nits compared to 1750 nits. The only difference is, S24 Plus and S24 Ultra features a Quad HD Plus display which is for the first time on S24 Plus and same Full HD Plus display on S24. With this flat display, the durability of S24 Ultra is improved. But Samsung is even adding a new glass on S24 Ultra. Before, it was named GG Armor, but according to the recent report, it might be named as Victus 3. 
These are some of the promotional images of Galaxy S24 Ultra confirming a couple of new AI features. First, circle search. It says search any image, video or text on your screen and there is no need to screenshot. Second is live translate. Speak foreign languages on the spot right inside from Samsung phone app. The third one, the new note assist. Note smarter, not harder. Capture the details in your notes and let note assist do the hard work of summarizing, formatting and even translating them. The next one is nightography zoom. Bring details out of the darkness. Brighten up your night with nightography on S24 Ultra. The next one is 200 megapixel, 8K video recording and a space zoom up to 100x. All are coming on S24 Ultra. If you're up for camera changes then let me share something new. The default 10x zoom is set to 12 megapixel digital from 50 megapixel. Potentially, this was the reason of S24 Ultra will take better 10x zoom in shots compared to the S23 Ultra, which has 10x optical zoom sensor. And the new 5x telephoto sensor has the ability to record in 8K resolution. Talking about the cameras, he confirmed big things about the cameras of S24 Ultra. According to him, onboard sensor AI, which is in the ISOCELL sensor, with E2E Remesic AI process and other improved shutter lag to 70% faster on 200 megapixel mode. 90% faster on 50 megapixel, no observable lag currently on bend image. This will totally change the game for the S24 Ultra since S23 Ultra really struggles with the 200 megapixel picture. And after adding this E to E, you can now take a picture of a fast moving object with the 200 megapixel resolution. Along with this E to E, Samsung already launched a feature called Zoom Any Place, where you can record two lens of videos at the same time, both in 4K resolution, where you can get two streams of videos and you will not lose details. The trade in deals for the S24 Ultra is somehow out. And and I'm sure you guys don't like it. According to the source, they are offering around $750 only for Galaxy Z Fold 5 which you bought for $1800 a couple of months ago and around $600 for the S23 Ultra. But the pre-order deals will compensate with the lower trade-in deals on the S24 Ultra. We are going to get a free storage upgrade which is if you buy 256 gigs version, you are going to get a 512 gigs version and if you pay for 512 gigs version, you will going to get a 1 TB version and some discounting pricing on Galaxy Watch and Galaxy Buds. The watch will be Watch 5 and Galaxy Buds FE, confirmed from source. The price for all miles of S24 lineup is confirmed. We are going to see a $799 for S24, $999 for S24 Plus and $1199 for S24 Ultra in US. But the European pricing is also out and the S24 and S24 Plus will be cheaper than the S23 series but S24 Ultra with the 256 gigs version will be slightly more expensive but 512 gigs version is cheaper. Weird pricing from Samsung. The only reason Samsung stick with the same price as last year because of adding Exynos 2400 in S24 Plus and S24 base model in selected markets and also no 16 gigs of RAM on S24 Ultra. The official reservation for S24 lineup is started and if you reserve now, you can get a $50 Samsung credit if you pre-order the phone later. Also, these are the pictures spotted in stores in Brazil, says Galaxy S24 Ultra, Galaxy AI is coming. The official teaser also confirmed the Galaxy AI is coming on Gen 17, 2024. And you can pre-order your device after the event and phones will be available in the market on 30th Gen. If you guys want to see the detailed look of Galaxy S24 Ultra, then you should watch this video and I hope you guys are subscribed. I'll see you next time. Till then, peace out.